We are so close to Hogwarts Legacy, you can almost taste it. And hopefully it's not an earwax flavored every flavor bean. But I figured it would be a good video to run through all of the main characters that we know about so far. We know quite a few of the professors, the students, the bad guys, things like that. Just so we kind of have a basic lay of the land. Obviously, we don't know everything yet. There are going to be surprises in the main game. But at least when we see certain people, we'll kind of know who they are, what they're like, what they're up to. That sort of thing. Figured it'd be kind of a fun little... uh lead up to the game because we've learned quite a bit over the course of the last few months with tweets and trailers and articles and things like that so let's start off with the antagonists the bad guys we've got two main ones number one seemingly the baddest of them all is Ranrock. Ranrock is a goblin and he is leading the goblin rebellion against all of wizard kind his ideal situation is to completely wipe out all witches and wizards he wants to completely eradicate them from the earth and he has this desire to claim this mysterious form of magic for himself now i'm assuming this is the same form of magic that we can dabble in it's like this mysterious ancient magic that's very powerful so he obviously is going to be coming after us trying to claim that for himself so we're going to have to deal with goblins we're also going to be dealing with victor rookwood so rookwood is somewhat of an accomplice to Ranrock. They are on the same team, but only temporarily. They're not really, like their alliance is not solid. Rookwood is kind of a little bit more in it for himself. He runs a gang in the region. He's affiliated with the poachers and he's sided with Ranrock, but obviously he can't be fully with Ranrock because Ranrock wants to eradicate all wizards. He's a dark wizard himself. So that's going to be interesting. You know, it seems like they're going to work together, but maybe their relationship isn't as solid as we think. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Moving into our professors. Honestly, this is kind of the main list that I wanted to talk about because I'm, I'm really excited to meet our professors. I just can't wait to go to class. It's going to be great. So uh, first and foremost, we have Professor Phineas Nigellus Black. He's not only a professor, but also the headmaster of Hogwarts, and he is the least respected, least popular headmaster that Hogwarts has ever seen, and for good reason, because he just wasn't a good choice for the job. He was ill-prepared, he was ill-suited for it, he's very vain, very self-absorbed, does not care about the kids at all, does not care about educating kids. If you're going to have a headmaster, this feels like a pretty bad resume, which is why he turned out so bad. He's very self-absorbed, very vain. He comes from the Black Wizarding family. He's actually Sirius Black's, Harry's godfather's great-great-grandfather. And although Sirius was obviously a very good guy, the Black family, especially farther up in the family tree, were not. They were, you know maybe on the edge of dark wizards they were very traditional very heavy slytherin leaning didn't really like anything that wasn't pure blood that sort of thing so he's just he's not the best but he's also not bad okay so even though he was a slytherin and he comes from this long lineage of of kind of more on the dark side and he's he's not really good with kids he did help with the defeat of lord voldemort or at least his portrait did a hundred years later when, you know, Voldemort and Harry and everyone were around. So it's, um, you know, he, he kind of walks the line. I, I don't think he's going to be a fan of us. I don't think he's going to be helpful to us, but he's not necessarily an evil guy. He's just not good, if that makes sense. Moving on, we've got Professor Weasley, and I kind of feel like she's going to be the yin to his yang. So Professor Weasley is the headmistress as well as the transfiguration teacher. Think about Professor McGonagall. Think about even Dumbledore was a transfiguration teacher. Um, she's known for her composure and extraordinary wand work. She used to be a curse breaker at the ministry. And she is kind of like our main, you know, a person that's getting us caught up with everything. She's the one that introduces us to the the field guide, the, the wizarding field guide that kind of teaches us about everything we need to know and catches us up as a fifth year. Uh, she's also going to introduce us to the room of requirement. And it just, again, like I said, I feel like she's the yin to Black's yang. Black is not going to be helpful, very, you know, aloof and, and far off from us. Aloof isn't the right word, but, you know, very, very removed from our situation, whereas I feel like Weasley kind of seems like she might be a little bit more of a friend. Uh, similar along that line is Professor Fig. So Professor Fig is our uh, magical theory teacher. And at one point he was following his wife Miriam around the world researching the seeming disappearance of this ancient magic that we have some sort of a connection to. He lost faith in her cause and kind of thought, you know, I'm assuming he thought that she was, you know, on a wild goose chase and wasn't going to figure anything out. So he left her, he went to teach at Hogwarts, and then she died. And that guilt 
of not being there to help her and save her and, and her death and everything still rides with him. And now he has made it his mission to try to understand what she was going after and complete her work. So I can only assume that because we're transferring in, there's, uh, you know, we know we're transferring because we have some sort of link to this magic. I can only assume we're going to work closely with Fig and hopefully he's going to be an ally. Hopefully he doesn't end up being bad or anything like that. Uh, moving on, we've got some of the more basic professors from what I can tell. Professor Garlic is going to be our herbology teacher. Uh, her name is fantastic. I love that, Garlic. Uh, apparently, she's very sunny, has a very charming demeanor. She just looks very sweet in all the trailers and things that we've seen, so she looks nice. We've got Professor Hecate, who teaches Defense Against the Dark Arts. Now, we know in uh, 100 years later time, like the Harry Potter time, Defense Against the Dark Arts was a very hard position to fill, and they constantly ran through teachers in that spot. So I'm interesting... I'm interested to see what happens with her, but apparently she's very stern, but likable. And we did see in the most recent launch trailer that she uses magic on students unsuspectingly and lifts them up in the air and stuff. So she kind of seems like she's going to be serious and by the book, but also kind of a little quirky and fun. So we'll see what happens with that. We've got Professor Sharp is going to be our potions professor. He's described as very gruff and keenly astute. He's an ex or which orers are kind of like police, or I guess you could call them like SWAT teams. They're, they're basically dark wizard catchers, and they're a very elite group of witches and wizards. And uh, he was forced to retire to a teaching position after he got injured. So could be kind of an interesting situation there. But obviously, if he has been an or and he's a successful or that was injured in the field and things, he's probably got some cool stories and a lot to teach us. And uh, we all know potions teachers are usually a little rough around the edges. And last but not least, the last professor we have here is Professor Ronan, who is our charms teacher, described as jovial, lighthearted, perpetual twinkle in his eye, and uh, considers his students' friendships and extracurriculars just as important as his class. Apparently, he also has an unorthodox style of teaching, which often incorporates gameplay. So he just seems like an all-around really sweet guy. Can't wait to go to charms class. So yeah, that's our list of professors that we know about so far. It'll be interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think, will we have astrology? Uh, I know Professor Binns, who is a ghost. He does teach the history of magic. I don't know if we actually go to that class or if he's just in game. Uh, are we going to have any sort of like a Quidditch coach or a, a broom coach? You know, kind of like Madam Hooch in the movies. Um, is there any other major? I mean, obviously, there's there's lots of... of uh, classes and things to take, but I, I think that kind of covers most of the main ones that we've seen. Uh, there's also Deke is worth mentioning. So Deke is a house elf. He's kind of very involved and, and loves Hogwarts and he's going to become a friend of ours. He's going to help us manage the room of requirement, our, you know, vivarium and things like that. So uh, Deke hopefully is going to become a good friend as well. Last but not least, we have our student companions and these are really important. And to be honest, I, I wish I knew more about how they worked. So we have four main student companions, one from each house. But I think you're going to be able to interact with these companions outside of your house too. Like in my preview event, when we did the Fire and Vice mission, we were working with Poppy. And Poppy is a Hufflepuff, but we were a Gryffindor in that setup. So I, I think no matter what house you choose, you're going to be able to still hang out and interact with the other companions of the other houses. But I'm not sure if maybe like depending on your house, that companion becomes like a closer companion than the other ones. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how it happens. But uh, going through them in order of most impressive and exciting to me to least, Sebastian Sallow, the Slytherin. I'm really excited to hear about his story and get to know him. So he's very cunning and extroverted and he's motivated to save his twin sister. Apparently his twin sister was hit by some sort of really evil curse and basically he is turning to the dark arts to try to find a cure for that he's the one that kind of teaches us about the dark arts and i think it's kind of alluded to that if you want to learn some of the unforgivable curses you're going to be going through him to learn things outside of your textbooks so very interesting story there twin sister unfortunately debilitating injury hopefully we can save her to me it sounds like he's going to be one of those guys that's going to do anything and everything and break any rule to be able to save his sister and that sounds like a lot of fun. So I'm excited to meet him. We've got Natsai Onai as the Gryffindor uh, companion here. She's very wise and quick-witted. And she grew up in Africa where she uh, attended Wa Wagodu, Wagadal, Wagadal? School of, of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Apparently, it's the largest school in the world. I, I knew there were other schools outside of Hogwarts, obviously, you know, Goblet of Fire and things. But yeah, there, there's multiple schools all over the world. So that's going to be kind of cool. Might be able to learn about some of the other 
you know, schools and magic and what happens in those areas. Uh, apparently, her mother transferred in as the divination professor, so we're going to be able to get to know her. And again, that goes into like, is there divination astrology and stuff? It might, I don't know, we'll wait and see. Next up, we've got Poppy Sweeting. She's the Hufflepuff. We have seen her in my early gameplays with the Fire and Vice mission. So she is bright and compassionate and she just loves animals. She likes animals more than most people. That is what she's about. She's about saving the animals. We know that with Victor Rookwood and the poachers and things, they are capturing animals and beasts out in the wild. And part, you know, kind of like a side mission of our, our story is to save them. I think she's going to be the main one with that, which we've seen in the gameplay. We went into a dragon fighting ring and released the dragon with her. So she seems very sweet. I, I mean... I like the idea of going out and learning dark magic with Sebastian more, but she is very sweet. Last but not least, Amit the Car is our Ravenclaw companion. And to be honest, I don't think I'm going to like him very much. So they, it says that he's bright, well-read, and loves astronomy. He plans to be a famous wizarding historian, and he will leap at the chance to help a friend in need, but in the thick of it, often realizes he'd rather write and read about these experiences than actually living through them. So... Ah, dude's a bookworm. He doesn't want to be a part of the, the you know, chaos. And I, it, it sounds like he's not really very dependable. He's, he's more into the books than he is the adventure. So just not really my vibe, but maybe it is for you. So yeah, those are the house companions. Again, I don't know how much interaction happens. I did see in my gameplay that I was a Gryffindor and Poppy was a Hufflepuff and we had a full mission together. So I think no matter where you are, you're going to be able to interact with everyone. I can only assume that. But we'll have to wait and see if, like, I, to be honest, I'm kind of tempted to pick Slytherin because I really want to know Sebastian's story. And I'm not sure if picking Slytherin helps with that or not, but obviously it can't hurt. So uh, the last one I wanted to mention, just kind of a random, random one, is Luke and Brattleby. I don't know how much of a... a you know, role he's going to play. But uh, in my early access gameplay, he was the one that was running like the secret student organization for, for dueling, the dueling club, Crossed Wands, I think it was called. So um, yeah, he could be important. He could not. I don't know how much Cross Wands is going to play a role, but it's kind of like a tutorial thing. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. Those are the main characters that we know about so far. One can only assume that this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are probably going to be a lot more than this, but at least we kind of have an idea of what to expect and who we're going to meet when we first step foot in Hogwarts here in um, a, a few days or really kind of a few hours. So very excited for that. Can't wait. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. Who is your favorite companion? Who are you going to go with? What house are you going with? Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you all later. Peace out.